Hi. So today is gonna be a transformation video. We're gonna transform from this mess to this. Well, I do hope the final looks look good <laughs> because I am looking a little bit rough today. So we're going to put this thing up, take these glasses off. Okay, let me adjust my vision. So in today's video, we're definitely going to try to use what I have in my shop, my stash and make an everyday look for you guys so you can see what actually how I use this product and how they look on my face, what I think about them, have my thoughts change since I have tried them and things like that. And we are going to start with glossy, glossy touch and soul, pretty filler, glossy skin balm. I think it's cold and this is the primer that I have right now and then I have another one. But when I put apply this one all over the face, and I have tried this one yesterday again after a while. And like I said in um, my Shop My Stash video, I do really love this thing. I try to put it under very, very mattifying and drying um, foundation. Now, I would not put this under like luminous foundation or like natural looking foundation because it might make it look a little bit too glowy. So um, usually I try to combine this with more like mattifying foundations to make it, to give it more of a natural look, right? So uh, foundation, as you've seen, we have this one Clinique, even better clinical serum foundation broad spectrum SPF 25. I still, oh, oh. There's a color right there. It says uh, WN98 Cream Caramel. So that's what this color is. It's a little bit on the dark side for me. Oh, by the way, let me show you this thing. So you see how beautiful this is? This, <laughs> you think it's a present, right? Well, I mean, it could be a present. I don't know if you want to have it as a present. You could do that, right? But this is actually a plastic little thing that you can put on your hand. And I bought it from Amazon. And I really, really wanted something like this because I've been getting really tired of applying foundation on my hand. And this is like a plastic little thing that you can put on top right here. So hopefully this is going to work well. So we're going to apply some of this. And I'm going to apply a little bit of the NYX Total Control. So let me do, I'll do two pumps right here. And then I'm going to apply a little bit of this NYX Total Control Hue Shifter Corrector type of thing. It's supposed to um, make your foundation lighter if it's too dark. And that's what I'm going to try to do. Okie dokie, don't get crazy now. Now I need a brush. Let's try with this brush. Here you go. Okay, that's, I don't know if it changed much, but we're gonna go with it. And I tried it yesterday and I do like it. But it is, yeah, the color is a little bit, a little bit too dark for me. Um, I thought it's gonna work well during the summer because, you know, I usually do tan, but it's still a little bit maybe too warm in a way as well. So I don't know. I don't know. So how have you guys been? I feel like I haven't talked to you guys in a long time. Like I haven't told you a little, um, things about what's going on in my life. Like, you know, some of you know, I am actually trying to um organize my uh romanian wedding this has been seven years in the making so <laughs> it is exciting and terrifying and stressful and everything anxiety about it a lot of anxiety about it but it's just uh it's a lot to like 
decide on. I, I don't know. I like, I'm not usually that picky, I think, or maybe I am. I don't know. I should ask people around me. Um, but it's just like, there is a lot of decisions that I have to make. Venue for uh, the person that is going to take pictures and all these things like flowers and how we're going to, uh, what we're going to put on cars and, um, like decorations even at the house, at the restaurant, at the church. Like there's so much, um, going on, right? That is, um... It's a lot. It's a lot for one person to do all these things. And not only that, but I have to, like, tell my family, which is in Romania, to uh, go and execute all my ideas or all my, you know, things that I want. Because I'm not, I've never been that type of person to be, like, dreaming about their wedding and wanting it to be in a specific way or it has to be this way or it has to be this other way. Um, I never looked at, never looked at uh, a wedding in that particular way. Like for me, when I was young and I was thinking about marriage, marriage was not something that I was that much interested in, but it just happened, <laughs> I guess. But this is how the foundation looks like. I love it. I love how this looks. And with that very luminous um, balm, skin balm, whatever you want to call it underneath it, it gives it such a beautiful luminosity and it just looks so freaking natural. I love, love, love this look. And I also think this is an amazing primer for more of a drying formula foundation, for more of those foundations that you think they look a little bit cakey on you or you think they look a little bit too mattifying on you. If you want to change it and want to give it a different um, look, then this is the way to go. Oh my God, I can't believe I've been talking for this long. I got to speed through this. So um, for this little... For the uh, under eye, we're going with the Too Faced Concealer Born This Way. This is a new product for me because I had this one in my collection, but I have not necessarily tried it. So I'm going to apply more concealer than uh, usual. I usually don't apply this much concealer on my face, but I am applying it where I want to illuminate a little bit, considering that this foundation is a little bit more on the drying side um on the dark side i'm sorry and i do uh like how this concealer looks on me i tried it yesterday and i was kind of surprised how well, well it blends I'm gonna go with this one from Sexy Mama De Balm. This is supposed to be an anti-shine translucent powder, but I wanna go with this one to set my under eyes. There we go, that looks absolutely insane. I love, love how this concealer looks and performs it's a very very nice concealer and i heard a lot of people talking about it and how amazing it is now we're gonna go with some cream blush and uh we're gonna go with some cream sculpting from makeup by mario this is in light medium and i'm just gonna go this way i'm just gonna apply a little bit on the forehead go a little bit on the nose as well just a bit right there and I was talking about uh, the a wedding and all that and I wanted to say also like seven years ago when this wedding was supposed to happen I actually purchased a wedding dress right it's normal to purchase a wedding dress when you're actually having a wedding um, and I'm gonna go with stuff coral for my blush still from makeup by Mario um, and back then I was uh, smaller and uh, the I still had that wedding dress in hidden in my closet for this many years. And I was 
hoping that I will be able to wear it for when the uh, wedding is actually going to happen. Unfortunately, that is not the case. I have been trying to lose weight, right? But um, I don't think I'll be able to lose that much weight. Unfortunately, no. <laughs> I mean, I know for sure it's not going to happen. Now I only have like a month left. So that's not going to happen, right? But I have been trying to go into the gym and just kind of like work out, like basically fatten the pig before Christmas. That is actually a Romanian say. So that's the Romanian say of the day. We we say it in Romanian this way. Um, what that means is like I said, fatten the pig before Christmas. Romanian, uh, we have a tradition that we are fattening the not necessarily we're fattening, but we're uh, butchering a, a, a pig for Christmas and uh, it's a lot of tradition for that. But of course you're trying to have the pig as big as possible uh, so you can get as much meat as possible. So you're trying to um, make this pig as fat as possible in the last month something that you haven't achieved all the years so that's pretty pretty much what i'm doing right now you know that's me that's me right now um i'm gonna go with this powder burst piece that is mattifying powder that has bamboo in it and i'm gonna apply this one all over the face this one is Okay, powder is not necessarily something amazing, but it's not too bad either. It is mattifying, but don't expect this one to actually keep your um, oils coming out, especially if you're oily um, all day. You know, this is more like, a, what I would say, maybe like a spring, maybe like a fall uh, powder, but don't expect this one to be a really good powder for summer or to like help you with really hot temperatures like we have today uh, in uh, Washington State. All right, now let's go with the bronzer. We're gonna go with this one from Cover FX. This is in Sunkiss Bronzer. And this is how it looks inside. I'm actually gonna go for, usually I don't do this, like combining the two. But considering that it's summer, you know, when it's kind of nice outside and all that, I think I'm just gonna go with these two, like combine them together and just go with that, you know. Pretty. I love, love, love how this bronzer looks like. Now for uh, brows, for brows I usually don't put things in my shop, my stash, because I usually go with these or go with some other stuff. I can't, I don't know, it's, it depends on how I feel about that day and what I think it should work well with the products that I'm using. But today, I I'm, I'm think I'm going to use a combination of these two. This is the, both from NYX, this is the Micro Pencil, Brow Pencil. And this in, is in uh, Espresso. And then this is the Lift and Snatch Brow Tint Pen in Black. So we're going to go with these two. Now, I don't think I need more blush, so I'm not going to apply more brush, at least not for right now. So we're going to go for the eyes, and in today's video, I definitely want to try to play with this Glam Like Pizza Veggie Lover palette, because I had it two weeks in my uh, shop, my stash, and I haven't played with it yet, and I need to, okay? I need to. It's a very beautiful eyeshadow palette, and I need to create a nice look with it so i was talking about the fact that i was uh the dress does not fit me right i'm gonna go with yellow peppers for all over my lid so it doesn't fit me and you know two months ago i was like no like a month ago i said i know it's not gonna fit me and uh, the only thing that I could do, like I could alter it and I could try to make, make it fit me, but this dress was supposed to be for spring and 
our wedding is happening in the fall so that dress is a little bit too heavy for like beginning of fall and it's gonna be a little bit too hot with that dress because Romanian weddings are long uh, let me tell you they're very very long they start in the day of well they start with before that but I'm saying the day of it starts like early maybe like for me, it's going to start probably like 7 a.m. I'm going to have to go uh, to the hairdresser. I'm going to apply my own makeup. I don't want anybody else to apply my makeup. And then I'm going to have to do my hair, get dressed, put my makeup on. And then there's going to be a celebration at the house. Uh, the godparents are going to come and my husband and everybody. And there's going to be like a party at home all the way until like maybe 4 p.m. And then from there we're going to the church which is the ceremony and then um after the church is going to be a bunch of pictures and stuff and after that we're going to go at the venue uh, location and that's gonna go all the way until like maybe 5 or 6 a.m yes involves a lot of dancing involves a lot of drinking involves a lot of food involves a lot of people there's going to be at least 100 people at this wedding so it's a lot. I would say the thing that stresses me the most is things that I cannot control. And those are the fact that, you know, the COVID going on and there's rules and regulations that we have to uh, apply, you know, to this, uh, to this thing. Um, and I'm going to go with olives. I'm going to take olives. Yes. Let me take a different brush though. I'm going to go with this one. I'm going to take olives and apply this one um, all over the eyelid. So we have to respect those regulations, whatever those may be, because they are just changing all the freaking time, you know. Um, but pretty much that is the most stressful thing i'm not sure if all my friends and all my family are gonna be able to make it just because of that because some people are in certain parts of the world that um they might be in like the red zones and then they might not be able to travel there's a lot of things right so it's just um that's the tough part for me um it's like on on everything else like just organizing an event like this like this capacity this big it usually is nerve-wracking but having it to do it in 2021 it's even more crazier even more crazier but i really really did not want to postpone this one more year i am done waiting I need to have this done this year and then be done with, <laughs> just be done with, you know. I just want to call myself that I did this wedding and all came out the way I want it, you know, hopefully. <laughs> and I, ha I still haven't told you what I did with the dress. So the dress, I have not uh, decided, I was not sure if I wanted to buy a new one. So I bought a bunch of them to try them on because I ordered them online uh, to try them on. And uh, I sent a bunch of them back. And now I think I found the ones that I like the most. And I think I think I might have two. One during the, the daytime and one during the nighttime. Um, I think I'm going to go a little bit with this block olives and just kind of add a little bit on the side just to kind of darken up that edge a little bit, but not a lot, not a lot. Smoking it out just a tiny bit and if I don't want to go too much with it, I'm going to go a different brush and just kind of blend that in. And let's just do a bit of that caramelized onion, or should we do like jalapenos? Mm, let's do jalapenos. Oh yeah, I like that. That's so pretty. 
Now for the for under my eyes, I'm gonna take whatever is along this brush that I had that green and black and just kind of go right under. I'm gonna take the brown liner from Pure and I'm gonna use this one in my waterline. Okay, so I finished off my eyes with this mascara from Makeup Geek Extension Effect Mascara. And I really like how lengthening this mascara is. It's a really nice one. And for lips, let's just add a little bit of this uh, No Makeup Lipstick from Pericode MD. Because uh, my lips are a little bit on the drying side. As much as I try to keep myself hydrated, I still like, I'm not, not successful. I am not successful at it, right? I'm gonna go with this lip liner that I currently have in Shop My Stash. I have tried it yesterday. This is from Jeffree Star and this is in Red Rum. This is the old formula because I think he reformulated this and uh, I don't like it that much. It's a little bit runny, is that a good word? I think so. It's just hard for me to kind of go around my mouth with it. I cannot uh, glide it um, well enough. It glides way too fast and it's not giving me the matte look that I'm after. And here's the lipstick. The lipstick, I have it from Beauty Bakery and this is in Glam Jam. And I actually do like how this lipstick looks on me. It's a little bit too um, moisturizing for my liking. I like it a little bit more like a matte, like a demi-matte, that's semi-matte. That's my preference when it comes to uh, lipsticks. But this is okay-ish too. And now for a highlighter, let's go with Huda Beauty. We're gonna go with the Summer Highlighter Palette. And I think I'm gonna dip into Malibu today. I'm gonna do a little bit of that right over here. And this is a very nice, beautiful glow from within type of highlighter. Does not make any of my texture showing through which I love I love that factor and it's not a uh, glittery it's not looking like you're wearing glitter on your face this is a very natural glow from within type of thing And here's the look for today. What do you guys think? Do you like it? Let me know. It's kind of like a like a Christmas in July type of look. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's how this one looks like on my face. But I truly do enjoy these products. I talked about every single one of them. I touched a little bit about every single one of them. But this is all I have for you today. Let me know down below if you have any questions about the wedding, about Romania about any of that and I will try my best to answer them in a future video That's it for today. Thank you so so much for being here and I cannot wait to see you all Next time with another video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. Bye now